What's up guys? This is a full tutor, or tutorial how to loot Camp Splinter. And what I usually do is, is I start off by going to private server filter and European servers. I find the best lock with item boxes here and I'll just go ahead and pick a low one here. And be back when we are loaded in. Okay, here we are. And uh what I like to do is when I'm in a server and I have a lot of stuff, I obviously don't right now, I like to invite the other person into the uh, in the lobby, into my party, just to know where they are. Sometimes they don't accept, but that's just going to have the risk you're going to take. Okay. Going down here, um, Camp Splinter is fairly easy to loot. There's not a lot of zombies, and I'll show you how to avoid them and the best things to do when looting Camp Splinter. So we get down here. Having some FPS issues with this recorder. I'm also playing on my laptop, so. Alright. Usually, if there's zombies in this little stretch, I, you know, either run away from them or kill them, but since there are none right here, just straight up go to the sandbags right here jump on them it usually works better in first or third person if you jump on this little hole in the wall and you kinda like maneuver your way to the top now that you're up here you can run along the wall freely and I'll show you all the spots where items can spawn in the new patch as of um, August 10th usually over there you can spawn stuff like ham grenades anything pretty much um, stuff spawns down here for instance, that looks like a 5-7. Yep. And just, I just hopped down there real quick to grab that. Jeez. Okay. Oh, right there. A military rock. Nice. Okay. We'll go get this real quick. So always check these uh, tables here. And continue down to my tutorial. Jeez, I'm getting some lag spikes here. Alright, we'll go ahead. And if you fall off, you can just jump back on those barricades and get back up here. Let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Alright, um, go down this wall and items boxes do not spawn there anymore. Item boxes can spawn in three of the four towers here, and this is currently one of them. The tower I'm looking at right now does do uh, does not spawn item boxes as I know yet. Um, I've been looting this place for a while on the new patch, and I haven't gotten anything, so I wouldn't count on it. But always check up there for grenades. Continued on, I'd usually just jump down here from that tower. Zombies usually don't chase me, and I just do a quick look at the corners here and then I'll just quickly go over here other tent and then just look for anything blue okay nothing just go to the middle tent here and any zombies I see I'll take them out just so I know I'm safe go to this tent here gas mask just take that for protection got Tactical knives. Take that. I got a zombie on me. Another one as well. I heard it. It's probably flanking me from somewhere. Can't see it at the moment. Okay. Oh, there it is. Keep checking these tents. Always be careful when going through the tents because sometimes zombies don't make noises and they want to sneak up behind you. Just clear out the tents right here. And what I'll do usually is just before I go to the next tower, I'll check these two tents here before I go up in the tower. Usually nothing really spawns in here. I always find it nothing spawn up there. Okay, only one in the server. I will go up this tower here. Check for an item box. Nothing. So item boxes do spawn in that tower, this tower, and the tower across from me. But 
that tower does not spawn item boxes. I usually just sprint along this wall here. And then I'll sprint down here, attracting all the zombies that I can. Get as many as I can going. Get them all aggroed here. And, you know, just try to get them all over here. And what they'll do is they'll get trapped in this corner here. And then you're ready to start knifing them. Make sure they're all facing a direction which is safe, or they can climb up on you. And always aim a little bit high because you crouch down, you're gonna knife a little bit weirdly. There you have it. Easy kills. No stress about hit, getting hit by zombies. And then I'll usually jump down here. Be careful though. Zombies everywhere. Take them out. And then there are chances of two item boxes spawning in this caged in area here. One will be right where my crosshair is and the other will be like in this area. Then uh, I forgot to show you over here. There is some an item that can spawn right there. Okay. After uh, after I do that, I run back here, and then I jump on the pillar again, and then I check there an item box can spawn there, and then I just jump down. Be careful. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna sprint anyways. Just come up to this last tower here. Nope, no item box. Of course, a flare gun. And then usually, I just get all the way, run all the way along this wall. Another thing I forgot to tell you is, over there, right where my crosshairs are, um, guns can spawn there. Like M16s, M4s, Masadas, Honey Badgers, I've gotten some guns from there. So always keep that in mind, check there. And that's pretty much the tutorial. Just gonna show you what I can get in this tower, and then one other thing, and then I'll be done with the video. It doesn't matter. I don't care about zombies right now. I'm about done with the loot. So go up to this tower, check for anything. Granola bar. Take that granola bar. Whoa, FPS issues. And that's pretty much the tutorial. And then if you don't want to be spawned across the lake, I highly suggest you go right here or over there and just go prone and disconnect. Also be careful when you're disconnecting here. Zombies can actually climb up. I think they got me one time. Never had that happen to me. And that's pretty much the video. Thanks for watching, guys.